In today's video, we're talking about the fashion trends for 2020 and what we're all gonna be wearing next year. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We're looking ahead into 2020 today and the fashion trends for next year. Netta Porto, they've just released their fashion forecast and these are the things that they're predicting that we're all gonna be wearing next year. I really like all of the looks, so I'm really excited to see what starts filtering into the stores. Most of them are really wearable and there's some really classy looks in there too. I don't know about you, but when I think of a short suit, I always think of Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. Oh, I loved this suit. The short suit was around last summer and it was a big hit, so I'm so pleased to see it's making a reappearance in 2020. I think it's such a classy, elegant look. You could wear matching shorts and blazers, or you could wear contrasting colors. Both look really chic and stylish. You don't have to wear short shorts. You can wear them a little bit longer, which leads me in nicely to the second trend. Apparently, Bermuda shorts are here to stay, so if the big guns are backing them, you can guarantee that the main high street stores are going to follow. I think they look best worn, smarter for an evening look with heels. They look beautiful worn as a coordinating outfit. They look chic with a knit. You've got a denim option. I think you can make them look really feminine and look very elegant. These looks all look really sophisticated. So this is quite an interesting one. I remember wearing waistcoats back in the 90s, but they are set to be one of 2020's must-have buys after they were seen on the runways of Burberry and Saint Laurent. Maybe worn as part of a suit can look very classic, very chic. The neckline of a waistcoat can be really quite flattering. For me, I think the perfect way to wear them would be with a really smart pair of trousers. Again, maybe for a more evening kind of look, I'm sure the stores will stock some more kind of wearable day-to-day -day waistcoats as well. So I'm quite pleased to see what happens with this one. Netta Porter are running with polo shirts being a big trend next year. And I think it's a style of shirt that could look really nice. You kind of have to get that female golfer type polo shirt out of your mind. Think more cut out, more feminine. There's some beautiful ones out there already. They look lovely with a smart pair of trousers. Could look very feminine with a skirt. And it's a nice alternative to a basic round neck tee, which has been around for a little while now. Okay, so clearly this is one of those trends that are not for all of us. I know I won't be wearing a mini dress anymore, sadly, but I love a mini dress. And if you're young enough to pull it off, or if you don't play by the rules, and you still feel confident wearing one, then I say do it. For a while now, it has been all about the midi dress, but the hemlines are rising in 2020. I think a mini dress can still look very chic and elegant and classy too. It's all about how you wear them. I think the trick is not to go too short and sticking with the age old rule that if you're showing the legs, then you cover up on top. It's gonna be turtlenecks with everything in 2020. Undershirts, one with jewelry, dressed up, dressed down. And it's a trend that you can start trying out straight away. It's not a very exciting trend because you think of turtlenecks as more as a classic wardrobe staple, but it's gonna be more how you wear them. Worn under the shirt, I think is gonna be a really strong look and it's gonna be the way to wear them into 2020. The men's shirt is a trend that's suitable for young or if you're older as well. It's oversized, it's long line, and it can be quite versatile as well. I think if you're gonna do this trend, this is the classiest way to do it with the turtleneck underneath. I think this looks lovely. When we start moving into the spring and the warmer months, it's going to be perfect for that time of year. Maybe in a white, a taupe colour or a lovely blue and white stripe, one would work as well. The tank top is predicted to be a replacement for the basic white t-shirt in 2020. I absolutely love these on other people, uh, but I feel uncomfortable in them. So there's some beautiful ones out there. I love this style of tank top. Zara's done a really good copy of this as well. It's a really versatile top. Looks lovely with jeans. It will look great with Bermuda shorts. Could be worn under a short suit. And just an all round, easy to wear piece. In other words, double denim. It was seen on the runways of Celine and Brandon Maxwell as well as some other ones. And I think it's gonna be one of those trends that are gonna be a real hit. It could be worn as a two piece, denim jeans and a denim jacket or you could wear it as a shirt and jeans combo as well. Either way, I think it could be a really stylish look. 
Now the classic trench coat is having a little bit of an overhaul in 2020. We're going to be wearing the next generation. So some of the key details of a classic trench coat are going to change. Maybe some contrasting buttons and lapels, clashing panels, ties on the sleeves. It'll be really interesting to see how this classic wardrobe staple is going to be rejuvenated in the new year. I think all of those trends are really quite wearable. Some of them are a little bit age dependent, but there's no real shockers in there. I'd love to know what you think of the predictions of what we're going to be wearing in 2020. So let me know in the comments box below.